Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Arcane Adventures Season 0. This is Episode 4, and you may be wondering why am I standing in the middle of an empty field as it is turning into nighttime, and I have an answer for you, because today we are going to be setting up the Arcane Shopping District. Um, so, this is what we're going to be working on today for this video. Um, I know we have some other projects in the works, but I wanted to get the shopping district set up so that we can start getting some shops and stuff going. Because I have some stuff I can sell. So, we're going to dive right in and start working on that. But first, we have to link the nether portals up. I gotta run through all these mobs first. Oh, there's spiders out of nowhere. Spiders, creepers. Ooh, someone's house is over there. That's pretty. I'm gonna head over to my, uh, my wizard tower now, though. We'll get over there. If we can outrun these mobs, and then we'll sleep through the night. So that there's less mobs uh, haunting us. But yeah, then we're going to mine some obsidian and then get working on those nether portals. All right, we have to get the trusty, never used diamond pickaxe and head down into the mines. The long and slow process of mining obsidian. But we're getting there. I have 14. We need 20 total because I'm just, I'm not going to do corners. I'm going to put stairs for the corners. So we need 20 total. So we're almost there. All right. We have the obsidian. It's all right here. We got 21, so I have one extra. I'm going to put one away. But we got to make sure that we put the precious um, diamond pick away so I don't lose it. Because as you can see, I do not have a lot of diamonds here. So we got to save those until we get more. Um, but yeah, I got my iron picks. Um, I'm actually going to go put these obsidian in the right spots. And I'll show you guys in just a second. In we go. All right, guys, we got a couple animals in the nether, actually. We got a pig and a chicken They're just hanging out of here, which is kind of funny. Um, but I have in chat the coordinates right here from when I from the nether portal that we have in the shopping district. And now I'm going to go find, just divide these coordinates by 8, specifically X and Z. Um, and that gives you the coordinates to put your nether portal in the nether in. So I'm going to do that and set that portal up really quick. All right, everybody, so here's my little nether hut. There's the old nether hut that we abandoned back there. And then I made a nice little path over here. We're actually, I'm going to see if we can make like another city over here since we're all super close together. I'm just going to go this way. And this is going to be the shopping district nether portal. I am actually going to put these. I'm going to mine these out. And I'm going to put these right here. Um, just as a little, we're going to design these tunnels later. But for now, we got little paths. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and light that nether portal, then go into the overworld and light that one as well and see if they link up. All right, guys, I have got the nether portal set up, so we are in the nether again, and uh, this says to Arcane Shopping District. Over here, I've actually got another sign, so if you go along the path, um, I'm planning on kind of expanding this area, making a little village with signs. So right here, it says uh, Eric Master that way. That's my nether portal and shopping district this way. So if we go this way, we're going to run all the way along here. It's actually not a very far path. Um, it's not very far from my house to the shopping district, but it'll be nice to have a little nether travel because it's a little bit faster. Um, we go through here. And here we are in the shopping area. I've got the nether portal set up right here. The arcane shopping district. Everything is all set up. And we can actually get some shops in here now, which will be awesome. We can start selling stuff, having an economy. It's going to be super cool. Um, but yeah, this is all set up now. Um, I'm going to start working on some other stuff, probably do some material gathering and stuff like that. Um, but we'll see what else happens this episode. We got some exciting stuff planned. We got some building to do, materials to gather, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, we're going to dive in and start gathering some materials now. All right, guys. So I have an idea for what I want my first shop to be. And if I flip around over here, you'll see I'm standing by the bees. Um, And you might be wondering why. That is because I think I want to do a bee item shop for my first shop. Since I have this bee farm, it kind of works AFK. I actually has produced a lot of honeycomb, um, which is really nice. I'm going to use a lot of that. But we're also going to see if we can put some bottles in there um, and get some uh, honey bottles as well to get some honey blocks. Um, So I think we're going to do a bee stuff farm. And for that, I want to actually build a big bee in the shopping district. Um, So that's going to require a lot of yellow and brown concrete i think is what i'm going to use for it so i'm going to start gathering the materials for that and then we'll kind of start getting able to build this awesome build i'm super excited to do it um i'm probably going to end up doing black uh, black ink instead of brown because we don't have access to cocoa beans yet but i am very excited to start our first shop on the server um and so we're going to dive in and start working on that right now okay i am out here collecting sand i've got a fair amount of sand so far um i'm probably going to get four stacks of sand and i want to get four stacks of gravel um, there's a little bit of gravel out here, but there's also, uh, some in the mine. So we're going to see, I might get it in the mine instead of out here, but we've got a fair amount of stuff here. I do need to, I've been getting some ink sacks while I'm out here too, to get that black dye for that concrete. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to start getting more materials. I do need a bunch of concrete for this. So 
I'm excited though. I'm gonna do a time lapse for this build as well. So we're gonna have a the first time lapse of the series for the build for the B. Um, so I'm excited for that as well. Oh, there's some gravel over there too, so I might pick that up. Shovel's almost dead though, so I'm gonna have to go make a new one. Um, but I'm getting a fair amount of materials here that we're gonna use for the B. All right, guys. So there's actually a ton of gravel over in this little lake here. So I'm actually gonna go out there and get a bunch more gravel there. Um, I got four stacks of sand. I'm gonna try and get four stacks of gravel. Hopefully that will be enough. We'll see. I might need a lot more. I might be way underestimating, but we're gonna try and see if this will be enough. If not, I'll be out here getting more resources for sure. But for now, I'm gonna mine this patch of gravel and we'll see what we get. All right, everybody. So I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of gravel here. I've got a bunch of sand over here. I have some black dye here and as you can see i have like no yellow dye so i need to go out and get some dandelions but good thing i think i know where some are so i'm going to grab those we'll get that dye started i'll show you where we're going to be able to shop and then we'll dive into a time lapse all right guys i am in the process of creating concrete i'm just going to search concrete here right click and then we're going to click a few of these we'll take them it's 48 Yellow concrete powder. Um, I'm probably going to do the rest of this yellow concrete as well. We'll make the black concrete, um, and then we will get going on building a B. All right, guys. I've got what I hope is enough concrete. I've got a bunch of yellow, some black, um, some white and gray to do the wings and stuff, and then also some blue. So hopefully it's going to be enough. I don't think it's going to be. We're going to at least try. I might try and get some more black concrete. Um, but I'm going to turn all this into regular concrete. It's all concrete powder. Now I'll turn it into regular concrete and then we'll get to be able to do that time lapse. And then we place, break, place, break, place, break. And we'll do this until we have all the concrete made. All right. We are very close to getting all of this concrete done. I just have a couple more stacks to do. Um, so I'm doing the light gray now. I just have eight blue to do after this stack of light gray and then we'll be ready to go. All right, guys, I have got a little area here all mined out and ready to go. Um, I cleared all the grass and stuff out and we're going to dive in and start a time lapse and build a bee right now. All right, guys, time lapse is done. How did you enjoy it? Um, I did run out of black concrete in the end there, so I had to run and grab some more. But the project is done. If I flip around here, you'll be able to see the flying bee. Um, so we got a bee flying. It's our new shop. I want to take it. We're going to bring you inside and take a look in what we got inside. But it's not much inside, just some chests. But this is what we got so far. I really like it. Um, I think it's super cute. Um, it's one of the first, like, big, like, structures I've done, like, of an animal kind of thing in Minecraft. I went based off of the image of like what the bee actually is in the game. Um, but I'm really proud of it. I think it looks cute. You got the little wings there and the little antenna. Um, so we're going to take a look at what's inside the shop as well. 
So, of course, I had to name the shop, and so we named it The Bee's Knees. I was debating putting some legs in here with some knees. I don't know if I will. I might do that later. Um, but this is The Bee's Knees. If we climb up here, we got a little trap door just to make sure everyone's safe. Um, and then in here, we have three things. So let me know what you think on the prices. I am not sure on these. I have never sold honey stuff before, so I don't know, especially with the honey bottles and the honey blocks. Um, but I got honey gum, one diamond per stack. We got a few stacks in here. Honey blocks, two diamonds per stack, and honey bottles, one diamond for stack and we're going to sell all three of these in here once i get some more stock but for now we're just selling the honeycomb in there um if you turn around we got a crafting table over here just in case um the eyes look at you from the inside as well um but these are the little prices we have it lit up in here so no mobs spawn in and the trap door is just to defend you in case anything tries to come up and get you as well um so yeah this is the bee's knees this is our shop and with that we're going to round out the video today I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe for more episodes of the Arcane Adventures SMP in the future. We're going to be doing some cool stuff. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the geode powering the tower. We're going to get to that soon as well as our, our big base. Um, so we're getting to all that soon. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We got our first shop. I am super excited about having our first shop on the server, the bee's knees. And hopefully we'll start making some diamonds here soon. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.